I am so excited for today's video because it has got so much in it for it to be 20 minutes long. Y'all are getting recipes. We're going to cook supper in this video. We're going to clean. I'm taking my yogurt right now. Um, I'm just getting the lights on and stuff like that. We're going to do some gardening and just have some cozy fall homemaking vibes for this day in the life so i did a poll on youtube to see if y'all wanted to see a day in the life or a home reset and a lot of you said day in the life so here it is hey y'all so today we are going to be um baking i'm also going to be making some boneless pork chops which also are saw earlier my goodness um it's super windy outside but it's such a pretty day we may go out there i may just kind of show you around the yard see what's going on i've still got some flowers doing well and um i ripped up my tomato plants and my chili pepper plants I picked all of them off that I was wanting to pick off of them and I've still got my bell pepper plants out there but I do need to process my chili pepper plants and my bell pepper plants. I freeze them uh, that way I have vegetables to use during the fall and winter when my garden is not active. I've got laundry going in here. I've got this Krusty's uh, Meyer Lemon bar which is what I want to make and I want to go ahead and make it right now so that's what we're going to do and then to go along with our dinner I'm going to make homemade mashed potatoes because we just love them and we're also going to have this stovetop chicken just to kind of give us that fall vibes feeling and I don't know about y'all but I may throw some french fried onions on my stuffing because it is a guilty pleasure that I have and I have to be careful with. But anyways, I'm so glad you are here. If you are new, I would love for you to subscribe. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. We're getting really close to 19,000 because y'all have just been hitting that free button. So if you like homemaking videos on the daily, then subscribe for more. So the first recipe I'm doing is this Krusty's lemon bar. I love homemade lemon bars, so I wanted to try this box one. And spoiler alert, it turned out great. <laughs> Aside from what y'all are about to hear. Y'all do not be like me. <laughs> Don't just read the ingredients, follow the directions too. I got a little worried for a second. I thought, oh no, I done messed it up. I didn't mess it up. The butter is for the crust, not the lemon. So, okay, this is wasted now <laughs> and I'm gonna have to restart. Now that I have the correct ingredients in this bowl, I put in the lemon package of dry ingredients with my wet ingredients. I'm stirring those and then I'm just going to set that to the side while we make the crust. The crust is super easy. You just add that butter that I had accidentally added to the eggs before. You melt the butter, you stick it in a bowl, you mix your crust with it, which is basically going to come out like a pie crust would, like a pumpkin pie crust and you're going to mix that butter with the crust it's going to clump up to these little balls of dough and then i just put this on my greased eight by eight pan i'm just following the directions that it suggested and then the crust is going to be pressed down and ready to be baked for 12 minutes on 350 degrees All right, y'all, this uh, crust cooks for 12 minutes, I believe. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 12 minutes, and then I'm going to take it out. I have to whisk this filling again 
and it just says set aside it doesn't say to put it in the refrigerator or anything like that so i just have it set aside over here but um i'll whisk that and then you pour this over the hot crust and then you bake for another 24 to 26 minutes or until golden brown um and then it says for easy cutting you chill for an hour so once this is done though i'm going to go ahead and get started on the pork chops and mashed potatoes all that stuff um so we're going to be eating dinner a little bit early today but it's because i want to show you all this video today and if we eat dinner what we normally do it wouldn't be until tomorrow All right, a little update on the moms. Hi, buddy. They're doing good, they're alive again. Y'all remember this one? It had all those dead flowers on it. Now it's doing good. So is this one and those. These flowers are still hanging on too and I have not watered them in a while. That boo sign's from Dollar Tree, by the way. But here's what this area looks like with no, uh, it's pretty windy today, by the way. Um, with no tomatoes in it just a radish hi Lucy hi took my banana pepper out still got my bell pepper here because there's a lot of bell peppers on it there's two I think two bell pepper plants here so I'm just gonna leave that see there they like each other oh and he is starting to get along better with the other boy too I need this is trash, but I need to get those tomato cages in my shed. This is how pretty it is today. Just blue sky. Nothing but blue skies. Alright, coming around the front of the house. Here's one of my bushes. It is a purple bush that has little red flowers come out. I don't think I'm gonna see the flowers until next year. I saw one, but they went away pretty pretty quickly is that one? Oh wait I'm not sure but it will produce little red flowers and then my pumpkin looks a little all messed up oh I see I'm gonna get Erin to restaple that I stapled some of them and <laughs> I think the ones I stapled are the ones being messed up because I'm not as strong as he is when he smacks the stapler. But see how crazy this is getting? I mean, it's kind of awesome. Do y'all trim yours or do you just let it go wild? And those purple flowers definitely took over. And then over here, I've got some more purple flowers. I'm so glad that spider is out of there. I have been waiting for this moment. I feel bad, but I really need to refill my bird feeder. And this little guy or girl has been taking over. Hmm. I don't, I don't want to disturb her space. I do have another bird feeder, so that's why I was kind of just waiting for her to do what she does and then you know because they die over the winter anyways so she probably has a good month left and then she'll do her eggs and pass away that's how it goes for spiders <laughs> i'm gonna try to move this i don't know if she's on it it's an orb weaving spider by the way it'll probably hurt if it bit me but it won't do any damage Hi, baby. Mr. Cow. I don't know who's he. Well, I do know who's he is, actually. Um, but I've been taking care of him, if that makes sense. But I kind of want to call him Oliver, just for me to have something to give him a name to. Hi, Lucy. So, same flowers are over here. All the little red flowers are going off of that plant. You see this big old spider? I'm gonna tell you, don't forget about stuff in the oven. 
Yeah. Did my timer go off? Okay. You can turn the oven off. That uh, spider has been up underneath my bird feeder this whole time. And now it moved, but I told him I think I might just let it stay there. I'm surprised it's out and about today. Normally it's just hiding underneath that thing. And then at night it comes out. Here's the other one. I like symmetry, so I just plant the same things on each side. So we gotta go check out our, um, this is a sweet potato vine. We gotta go check out our, what do you call it? My lemon bars. I'm excited, because I've never made one. Got a yellow bush over here doing fabulous. It's massive. It's at the tallest, about up to my hip. I'm a short person. <laughs> Not super short. And a lot of people don't believe me when I say I'm short, but I'm 5'3". Maybe that's not too short. I don't know. Where are my 5'3 girlies at? 5'4 five four, five when you put shoes on. The lemon bars are done. I am going to cut two pieces of this and then share them with Aaron. He was outside doing some stuff with his kayak because he was going fishing on this day. But I'm adding about a half a bottle of this teriyaki marinade to my boneless pork chops. And then I'm gonna add a cup of pineapple chunks. I did strain the juice because I didn't want it to be too wet. And then I'm gonna marinate those for a few hours. And you could also marinate them for overnight as well. And then I'm just cleaning up after myself. All right, I've got some laundry to switch over, a bed to make, and this to do. So then I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed and get the laundry switched over. But I wanted to show y'all these tomatoes here are for, um, it's basically like a father-in-law. You could call him Aaron's stepdad. Um, he's not actually in a relationship with Aaron's mom, but they were at one point and now they're just like best friends. So, it, it's the same feeling, okay? He, he treats me like a daughter, so that's what he is to me. Okay, there's the tomatoes. He loves tomatoes. He'll chop them up and just sit there and eat them, like multiples. So, he's got some red ones and he's got lots of green ones. Um, and then the bell pepper and the other peppers. Actually, okay, I have a massive bag of these. I don't know if his mom will use these but i could put them in a bag and give them to her so i may do that but it, then i have to stick them in the freezer already that's what i'll do because this bag is already full this one look at all those peppers when am i going to use that many i don't know and here's my bell pepper already so i have to start another bag of bell pepper too and then these are onions from the store there's a little hack for you if you don't eat vegetables fast enough or there's just two of you like Aaron and I get the produce that you want and then freeze it because it works out the same all right we're gonna do all this Now I'm just going to get the bed made, which is the cleaning I need to do in the bedroom. I love making my bed every single day. It just makes me feel a little bit more put together if my bed is made. I don't feel like there's 
it just kind of sets the tone, you know? So get in there, bed made. And also I wanted to say thank y'all for enjoying the music I have been adding to these videos. It reminds me of when I walk through Hobby Lobby and it just puts me in that good like seasonal festive mood because honestly I generally only go to Hobby Lobby for seasonal decor. I don't go there all the time just for like regular decor. So what you see me doing right now is decluttering all of these blankets. I'm actually going to pull over our blanket bin and get even more of them decluttered. And I'm only going to keep the ones that, you know, I kept a red and plaid one because it's good for Christmas. I kept a gray one because it kind of matches the colors and the direction I'm going for for Christmas decor this year. And also I kept like a blue one. So that goes with some of the accent walls in our house. Just kind of sticking with a theme here. But um, yeah, thank y'all for watching the videos. Thank you for your feedback, all the nice things you say. It really does mean a lot to me. This is my passion. I'm so grateful that this is what I get to do every day. And it's probably why I post every day because I just love it that much and it allows me to connect with y'all and that's honestly what keeps me coming to YouTube is for that connection. One of you actually mentioned as long as there's connection that you follow and I said same here. That's what I look for in a YouTuber. I just want to feel like no matter what kind of lifestyle they have, because I don't have to relate to the lifestyle, but I at least want to have a little bit of commonness, you know, like if I feel like we're on the same level, <laughs> not to get a little weird, but you know, sometimes people get a big head, but as long as I feel like they're down to earth, oh, I'm here for the party. I don't care if you're a billionaire. I don't care if you are living in the woods in a tiny house off grid like as long as we can find some commonality i appreciate um just the variety of different people in the world so i'm chopping up my bell peppers and i'm doing them in these long strips the julienne that's what they're called and um because i have a whole nother bag of just like diced to uh bell peppers and then I just added all of these chili peppers to this bag and we're going to pop those in the freezer and then I'm going to pop the bell peppers that I chopped off camera in the freezer as well and by this point it was time to eat these lemon bars because they had cooled. Yeah, I know what it's like to be broke. Alright y'all this is so good. So good. I think the last time I had this might have been homemade because it was better. But if you want a quick and easy, I almost feel like this would be good for Christmas with it being lemon. I don't know why. I know lemons are associated with spring, but sometimes I think of citrus for Christmas too. So I think this would be good for that time. But just an idea for those of y'all that are uh, wanting to make any kind of baked goods during this holiday season, one to remember. Alright, I'm topping these with the marinade and some of those pineapples and then don't do what I did. Most of the time I actually take another thing of aluminum foil and kind of like you're at a campfire and you're cooking on the you know campfire and you have to wrap everything in aluminum foil. I will wrap the vegetable separately from the meat. I did not do that this time and y'all will see when I pull it out. Um, this cooks at 375 for one hour, by the way, because those are thick pork chops. They're boneless as well, um, but you can use bone in. It's really up to you. So we're going to be making some homemade mashed potatoes and some stuffing. Uh, while we're doing that, I am going to pull this out and show you what I'm talking about. So there's just juices everywhere. Now, I'm probably going to like the corn anyways, but if you want your corn 
to just be corn and not have any kind of juices mixed in keep it separate I'm adding about well, I guess like a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream and then about a teaspoon or so of salt and I did a couple of tablespoons of butter and some pepper mash that up our mashed potatoes are done then over here I've got four tablespoons of butter with one and a half cups of water stirred it in after it boiled and then we covered it and this is our stuffing so that's what we're having for dinner tonight thank y'all so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see y'all back here tomorrow for another one